Philly Streets Talk. Philly Streets Talk. T, what up? Philly Streets Talk. Rich, what, what up? up? Mo, what's what up? up? Philly Streets Talk News and Weather. We are back with more news. All right, this particular story shoots out to North Philadelphia on Temple University campus in Morgan Hall, where police say that a laser beam was pointed at a police helicopter. Now, this took place around Cecil B. Moore, and it's, you know, Morgan Hall, so we're guessing that college students were having a good time, and uh, they decided that they were going to play a practical joke by pointing a laser beam at a police helicopter. Unfortunately, what you're probably not aware of is that there are real repercussions for these type of actions, and it has been a major issue as of recently. We've reported in the past, and news has reported in the past, that laser beams have come through and hit pilots in the face while they're actually flying an airplane. All right, then this could turn out to be a catastrophe if they were to lose some sort of vision or something to that effect. So we have to start doing a better job of being a little bit more mature and figuring out another way to play practical jokes out here these days. Philly Streets Talk News and Weather. We'll be back with the Pope. Philly Streets Talk. Welcome back. Philly Streets Talk News and Weather. My name is Maj. I am still out here in Center City at 16th and JFK. Our big story of the day shoots out to South Philly on the 2300 block of South 23rd Street at Royal Jewelers. This jewelry store was robbed by two men bearing a knife. They escaped with $50,000 worth of jewelry and a gold Honda. They have a description, a slight description, which is that the men are 5'7", 140 pounds, white males with tattoos on the arms. Police are urging that if you have any information, you give them a call and let them know what's going on. Philly Streets Talk News and Weather. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more news. Philly Streets Talk. Philly Streets Talk News and Weather. My name is Maj. Center City. It's amazing right now. It feels good out here. This is where the Pope will be. This is the general area where we will be seeing the Pope. He'll be all up and through here. And we are still counting down. We are anticipating his visit. It's less than two weeks away. Everyone is very excited. And as if Aretha Franklin, which we announced yesterday, will be performing during his stay, wasn't enough, we have Mark Wahlberg will be hosting the Festival of Families upon the Pope's arrival. All right, so the departed guy and uh, the person from Lone Survivor and all these amazing Hollywood hits, believe it or not, is a devout Catholic, and he will be down here with us enjoying the Pope's visit and hosting the entire event. Everyone is excited. Stay tuned. Philly Streets Talk News and Weather. We will be right back with the weather. Philly Streets Talk. Philly Streets Talk News and Weather. My name is Maj. I am still here with the sun behind me. All right, the sun has my back because today's weather is sunny. 83 degrees is the high, no clouds in the sky, an amazing cool breeze going on right now. The city is loving it. There are people walking around with blazers on. There are people walking around with their arms out. This is, a, this is the neutral, amazing weather in my, as far as I'm concerned. The rest of the week is gonna be the same. The temperatures are gonna go a little bit higher, so we'll see some 87 degree days and maybe a few clouds. And then a cloudy Sunday will be coming up when the Eagles play. That's our weather for the week. Philly Streets Talk News and Weather. My name is Maj. Philly Streets Talk. Philly Streets Talk. T, what up? Philly Streets Talk. Rich, what, what up? up? Mo, what's, what's up? up?